In 2010, the Monitor brought you the story of Jacob Schindler, a 16-year-old Lowndes County High School student who discovered an effective way to kill kudzu using helium. Well, needless to say, his story is one of the most viewed features on our YouTube page with over 26,000 hits, and we still get calls all the time from people wondering about his current status. Well, nowadays, the 22-year-old Schindler is a fifth-year senior at UGA, majoring in landscape architecture, and yes, he is still fighting kudzu, and his helium invention now has some serious credibility. As the city of Athens continues to grow and reach new heights, so too does the invader often called the vine that ate the south. And while the majority of us see this patch of kudzu as a potential problem, Jacob Schindler sees it as just plain potential. Whether it be proper land use, which right now is questionable, or later on, properly using it for either forage material, biomass, the opportunities are there. All someone needs to do is start utilizing it. A bit deep and scientific, yes, but understand this. Jacob was only 11 years old when he first discovered that helium could eradicate kudzu without harming other vegetation around it. A simple middle school project that would change his life forever. So I went back and did more FFA competitions, proficiencies, uh, became the American star in agri-science, and I also received a patent on my device in 2014. And now I'm looking to do manufacturing and distribution, so that's the next step from first production and prototyping to now getting it ready to go on the market. It was never really to kill and attack kudzu, but it's always been about controlling it. Now more than ever, you see this whole movement with the green scene, this kind of move to ecological balance and friendliness. It's about controlling kudzu. Once you can control it, then you can utilize it for its benefits, whether it be through e ethanol usage, whether it be food production or medical. There are so many uses, and we just need to get it to a point where people can accept it, control it, and then start using it. Believe it or not, it actually has some benefits. For instance, did you know it's quite nutritious and makes for a really good salad? Not something I'm going to try anytime soon, but I'll take Jacob's word for it. You could compare it to spinach or soybeans. It's a legume just like soybean. You can use it to the roots to make cakes. You can use it to make teas, wines. I've made salsa out of it. It's a basic forage crop, essentially. And of course, people have bailed it and used it as an alternative to hay. Really, the big danger with kudzu is that it becomes a carrier for other pests, such as the kudzu bug, which is destroying any kind of legume it can get in contact with. So really, controlling kudzu is about finding an ecological balance, and then you can utilize it properly, whether it be for food, for fuel, or for just looking at it. And even though he's tackled a major hurdle in receiving a patent for his healing invention, Jacob says his mission to achieve total kudzu domination is far from over. I need to get my EPA registration for the helium use as a pesticide. I need to register the device itself. I need to basically go through the process that any major company would have to go through for this type of technology, except I'm doing it as one person right now. So I need to find people who can help me do that. Just like from the beginning, when I was doing the experiments, it was about having other people who could help push me there, who could help give me the resources. 